welcome everybody welcome back to homestead heart and today i'm in the kitchen doing some canning y'all i have been canning up lots and lots and lots <laughs> chicken stock yes i have you all uh, we recently processed some chickens and i always save the backs and the necks and I use those to make my stock from. Now, you all, the purpose of this video, you all, is to talk about this canner and the regulator that comes along with it. I recently received a question in the comments about the fact that the gauge here is off. And the person who posted the comment said that they don't have an extension office in their area to calibrate it you know now one thing you can do easily is just order another one right but let's just say you can't do that either I've had another person in the comment section not in the comment section but sent me an email saying something similar about their gauge not working properly but they have another canner that you know didn't come with this particular regulator although it's a presto but it came with this right now I have never shown this in a video I do it all the time but I never shown it in a video because I did not want to confuse anybody however you all so now that's my 10 minutes off the clock right there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you I'm not going to use this one I'm going to use this for me it's 10 pounds of pressure okay this comes with three pieces. You take it off. That's five pounds. Put that one on. Three pieces. That's ten pounds. That would be fifteen. Okay, that would be fifteen. But for my altitude, it's only ten. Instead of using that regulator, I'm going to use this weight right here. Okay, and drop this right on. <laughs> Why did I do that? Now... If your gauge is not working properly, keep in mind that there's another version of this canner that doesn't come with a gauge. It only comes with a regulator, okay? And once it comes up to pressure for your altitude, that regulator is going to start to wiggle, 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 right? And when that happens, that lets you know that you are at the desired pressure for where you should be based upon the weight now because remember this is 510 and 15 pounds okay so i have 10 on for mine so if you had 15 it would take a little longer before you start to see that weight kind of rock back and forth right you don't want it rocking back and forth just going crazy you want it to be, you know, just a, a smooth rock back and forth, okay? And I'm going to show you that once this gets up to 10 pounds of pressure for my altitude. But if your gauge is not working and you have the weighted gauge, uh, the, weight, uh, the, the weights here, you can use those instead of this. And really and truly, if you use these, you all, you don't even have to pay this no attention. Really and truly you don't. Okay? So, this is just a little tidbit. I'm going to show you all because this is come, it's going to come up to pressure really, really quickly. Alright? My dial gauge recently started acting up too. Yeah, it when it falls down, it only falls down to a pressure of about 2 pounds that's it it won't go all the way so if I continue to use this I would have to let this come up to 12 pounds in order for me to know that it's actually at 10 pounds of pressure for me but even when I put that on once it starts rocking this gauge is gonna show 12 pounds yeah so hope I didn't confuse anybody if you're new to canning and you got a new canner 
this really shouldn't be a concern for you. But for those who have been canning um, a little while, but you're really unsure about this weight, uh, this pressure regulator, this gauge here, or your weighted gauge or regulator, okay? This is an alternative to using this, all right? This is a 23 quart Presto canner. So you could still use this, all right? I hope that makes sense. But once this gets up to just about 12 pounds, I'm gonna bring you right back and I'm gonna show you what this is looking like, okay? Quickly, for all of my newbies, there's one thing I want to point out to you. This is not moving, okay? I have it at 10, I have 10 pounds of weight on here. It's not moving. I want it to be clear when I say it. It's not gonna start to move until it starts to getting up to the pressure according to the amount of weight that I have on that um, vent pipe, okay? All right? That's where it's gonna go, on the vent pipe. Now, I am just about at, really just at six pounds, because again, that gauge is off. But I wanted you to take note that it's still, right now, it's not moving, and it's not going to, until it gets up to the amount of pressure that you have put on this lid, okay? Whether that be five, 10, 15, okay? All right, so now, once we get there, I'm gonna show you. All right, you all, so you can see it's just now barely starting to rock a little bit. And you can see on that dial gauge where it is at just about 12. And now it's beginning to rock back and forth and it's gonna pick up, <laughs> okay? It's gonna pick up. And this is that gentle rock back and forth that I was sharing with you. All right, now, if I don't start to reduce my heat right now, this is gonna become more and more vigorous. This rocking back and forth, as you can see, is gonna keep going and keep going and get more and more and more out of hand, <laughs> okay? And that's what we don't want, all right? We want this nice, gentle rock motion back and forth, all right? So I'm gonna start to reduce my heat now. Now this is going to chill back down to where it's supposed to be. See, just a nice little gentle rock, okay? And that's what that's going to look like. Okay? And I'm going to go ahead now and set my timer and process my quart jars of chicken stock for 90 minutes. But I wanted to show you that. That's what you're gonna be looking for, that nice gentle rock. All right, y'all, so I just wanted to show y'all that real quick. As you can see, I got my nice little gentle rock going on here. You see, it's not going right. <laughs> That's not what we want. <laughs> but in any case, and if it slows down too much, you just need to just adjust your heat. That's it. Because you want it to stay at that gentle rock. You don't want it to start slowing down to where it's almost at a standstill. Because if it does that, that means now you've probably got to start your time over again until you can get it back up to pressure. Okay, you all? So, I just wanted to share that with you all and show you if, you, if something is going on with your gauge, but you do have that other Presto canner that has the weighted weighted gauge or it's not really a gauge really but it's a weighted regulator right so if you have those these 
you can use those instead of this. And if you do, you really don't even have to worry about that thing right there. Really, it becomes null and void, right? So, I hope that answered your question who posted the question in the comment section and the person who sent the email. I thought those were fantastic questions and the person who posted the comment reminded me through the question that you need to do a video on that to talk about that because that is a, a concern for so many, right? What do you do? Do you not use your canner? You know, what if you go out and buy another one and it comes with this but you don't like that canner, you know? I don't know. What if you can't find these? online to purchase but you can find that right so i'm just sharing with you your options okay because my gauge is on the fritz too but i'm just using that now okay now i do have a backup gauge i got one i do been had it but i'm not going to use it i'm not going to open that right now i can Honey, please, I'll just stick to this until, until I ain't got no choice, okay? I'm going to say that for real emergencies. <laughs> All right, y'all, I just wanted to share that with you. I got 90 minutes on my court, so stop here. I've done a video on it, and I can post that link in the cards here, but I kind of do it, um, I kind of upgrade it <laughs> the way I do my stock. A little bit you know and if you want to see that I'll be happy to do a separate video on it we'll be processing an, another batch of chickens here in a few weeks and I'll be happy to share that with you but I am gonna also be posting the video of us working to get our chickens processed okay all right y'all that's gonna do it for this little quick video I have been busy all morning it is afternoon and I have been going since 4 a.m. So while this is doing this, you all, I'm going to start putting my I have been canning several jars of tomato puree. Puree, puree. <laughs> I have been processing several jar jars of these and all I have in this jar is a little basil and um, no salt. But that's it. So these will be great for like soups and things like that when I'm making soups. These will be great to go in my soups. Okay. So I have been very busy doing a lot of canning y'all. So it's that time of the year though, right? Yeah. It's that time of the season. Everything's coming out of the garden. And if it ain't going in the freezer or the food dehydrator or the freeze dryer, where's it going? Going in the camp. <laughs> All right, y'all, I don't have a freeze dryer, but I'm just saying, if that's what you have, if, it's not, if you're not putting it in the freeze dryer, more than likely, you're jarring it up. Yes, yeah, so. All right, y'all, I just wanted to share that little tidbit with you. I hope you found that information helpful. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we upload to our channel. Thank y'all so much for watching Homestead Heart. I ain't good at it. <laughs> Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. I'm going to see you in the next video.